Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to import a physical game or a digital game that you've created yourself into Google Slides so that you can use it on screen. What you'll need is the game board and the cards and Google Slides which is free. So we're going to go to create a new slide. And it can just be blank so I'm literally just going to delete what's here already. And the first thing I'm going to add is the game board. I have my game board ready to go here. So I'm using a game I created myself that's from my site Vibrant Music Teaching. But you can do this with any game. You can just take a photo of the game board and the game cards if you want to do that. This will work for any basic game where you flip the cards over and name or explain something in order to move forward. You can use dice physical dice alongside it if you like as well. I like to put an outline on my game board just to show clearly where it starts and ends if it has a white background. And then the next thing I'm going to add is the card back to make it look like the cards haven't flipped over yet when you first join in. This is the card back I want to use and I'm going to just drag to resize that down to a reasonable size. Now I like to keep them a lot bigger than you would have them in relation to the game board in real life because there's going to be things on the card that you want to see. I also like to keep the two things in the center with plenty of space around the outside. Do it a little bit less than that. Plenty of space though because um, some screens will cut off the outsides a little bit on a screen share and you want to make sure everyone can see the important stuff. I'm going to put an outline on my game cards as well and now I'm going to put in the guard fronts and then we're going to do the animation. So these are the fronts of my cards here. We're naming notes and there are 18 of them so I'm going to drag all of them in And I've put a border on all of these here, so just selecting them and going to that border if you want that on. And then we're going to select them all again, now that they're lined up nice and neatly. And I'm going to go to Insert Animation. Now I don't actually want that bottom one to be animated, so I'm going to remove that first of all. Just delete. And then for each of these, this is the slightly tedious part of this, but it goes by fast once you get used to it. For each one, you're going to need to go in and change it to fast because you don't want people to be waiting for it to fade in and uh, do on click as the action. That's the really important part. It needs to be on click so that it doesn't come in together. So I'm going to go through each of these and change those settings fast on click. I'll just pause the video while I do that. So each of those is now fixed. So it says on click and it is going fast. By the way, it doesn't matter about it being fade in or appear because we've sped it up to so fast that it's not going to make any difference anyway. So you don't need to change that setting and you don't need a slide transition. I'll show you what this looks like now in play mode. So this is the setup we have so far if you go to present. So when you're playing the game, you go into present mode in Google Slides and this is what you will see. So I have the card back showing here as if we haven't turned over any cards yet and I have my game board right there and I'm going to flip through them like this on different people's turns. Now there are different ways that you can use the actual game board. One of the simplest if your video allows this, if your video call software or whatever you're using to play the game on screen allows this is to use an annotation feature. So in Zoom you just go to annotate when you're in screen share, share mode, make sure the annotation controls are on and then you can use the stamps. There are different stars and hearts right there that you can use to move forward along the game board and just stamp different people's stamps as you go. 
One quick tip is to use the cursor button within the annotate menu so that you can get back and forth between flipping through the cards and using those stamps. So in Zoom, once you're in screen share, this is what that looks like. There's this menu up at the top here. I go to annotate and then there's stamps here and I can choose a heart for one player and a star for another to mark where they are on the board. There's this little cursor here and I need to click on that every time I want to flip through a card and then go back and forth between that and the stamps feature. Of course, you can use some other system that suits you or you can use an annotate feature in a different way in another call software, but I wanted to show that in Zoom so that you know how to do it if you're using Zoom in particular. Now, one last thing I want to show you here is if you want to be able to flip the deck over easily when you get to the end, I have a nifty little trick for that. This is absolutely not necessary because you can just go back to the beginning if you're playing in a casual setting, but this is a handy trick to have it up your sleeve for the adding that extra fun to your game. So I'm going to duplicate this slide over here. You can right click to do that if you like. And then I'm going to delete all the cards except the bottom one. Okay, and then I'm going to add some text here. It says click here to flip the deck over. So what this is going to do when we're ready is it's going to, clicking on that card is going to take you back to the beginning without having to exit the presentation or anything like that. So I'm just going to change this to be centered here, vertically and horizontally. And then I'm going to make that text a bit bigger. And obviously it's quite hard to read at the moment, but we'll fix that in a second. So we're going to click on this and we're going to actually make it quite transparent. So I go to Format, Format Options, Adjustments and Transparency, and I'll make it about there is good. We can read the text nice and easily. And then I'm going to actually animate this object Let's group those actually together and then we'll animate them together. Sorry, I'm saying animate, but I actually mean link. So it is an animation in my view, but it's uh, you do it by adding a link in Google. So we're going to go to insert. Insert a link and then our link is going to be to slides in this presentation and it's going to be to slide one and we click apply and now what's going to happen is if I click on anywhere inside that box we're going to jump back to the start so that the cards flip over and start again. It won't re-randomize them or anything like that. So if it's a game where you usually get through all of the cards twice, you might want to double them up instead so you can change the order. But this is a great way to simply flip back to the start. So now when we enter presentation mode in Google Slides, this is what we see when we get to the end of the deck and we click here and it goes back to the beginning of the deck as if they were flipped over and we can go through them again. That's it. I hope you enjoy playing your games in Google Slides. I know we enjoy them in Vibrant Music Teaching. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel while you're here.